Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and today we are making cute emoji cheesecakes. There have been so many requests for emoji and there have also been lots and lots of requests for another giveaway. So today we are giving away 12 Revel Scraper Mixer Pros. Yes, you heard me right, 12. Now we're giving them away to the top 12 countries that watch How to Cook That the most. So if you want your country included next time, you're gonna have to tell all your friends about How to Cook That and get it included. So we have one of these for Australia, one for the USA, New Zealand, Canada, South Africa, Malaysia, Singapore, the Philippines, Hong Kong, Mexico, United Arab Emirates, and UK. Now in the UK, Breville is called Sage Appliances, but you will get the same mixer, just branded differently. And so 12 Breville Scraper Mixer Pros. And I'll tell you at the end of this video how you can enter that to win one of those. So to make our emoji cheesecakes, first of all, we wanna make the cheesecake base. So just take some sweet biscuits, whichever ones you like, and place them into a bag, and then just bash them with a rolling pin. All of the recipe quantities for this are on the website howtocookthat.net, and I'll link to that in the description below. Then tip all of your crumbs into the melted butter and mix it well. Just stir quite easily, it just makes the crumbs nice and moist so that they will stick together when they're in the base of our cheesecakes. Now that that's mixed in, we want to cover our containers. Now I'm using containers with a loose base, as you can see. So because when you bake cheesecakes, they need to be baked in a water bath so they don't get too hot and make the cheesecake crack. We want to cover this with foil so that none of the water gets in there. So just take a piece of foil, place it over the top and squash it right down so it covers the sides and make sure that it's coming up to the top on each side so that we don't get any water going into our cheesecakes and then put the base back in the bottom. So once we've covered each of those, we wanna put some crumbs in the base of each one. And if you use a scoop, then you can get that amount even in each one so that your bases have the same sort of straight line across each one. Once you've done that, take something flat, I'm just using a bottle, and just squash down those crumbs so that it looks nice and flat. Now to make our cheesecake filling, what we need is some cream cheese, and we've got block cream cheese, some sugar, eggs, we've got two eggs plus one egg yolk, cream, and I get lots of questions about cream. You want any cream that's about 35% fat. So in the US, I think that's called heavy cream. Here in Australia, pure cream, thickened cream, any of those are fine. And some flour, plain or all-purpose flour, some yellow food coloring, and also some vanilla and a teaspoon measure for that. So first of all, we wanna tip our cream cheese and our sugar into the bowl of your electric mixer. Add the sugar in, and then we wanna mix that medium speed until it's nice and soft and the scraper mixer on this does a pretty fast job of doing that. Okay once that's mixed and looking creamy and yummy we're just going to swap over to our whisk attachment so just scrape all that off. If you've got some little ones in the house they might like to lick that clean for you. Push and twist and that one's on. Now we want to add in all the rest of our ingredients so add in your eggs with the extra egg yolk the cream, the flour, and our vanilla. Now we just want a couple of teaspoons of vanilla, just gives it that nice vanilla flavor to it. I'm not using vanilla that has the seeds in it because we don't want those little black dots in our emoji faces. We want it to be just plain. Then just turn that on to whisk again. That looks great, nice and fluffy. Now just add in your yellow gel-free coloring. Now you don't have to add gel-free coloring if you just want them to be cream or if you don't want to add color, you don't have to. Lovely, we've got that beautiful emoji yellow cheesecake mixture. Now you could just spoon that into your containers, but if we do that, it's gonna be hard to get the tops exactly flat, which we want it flat for the nice faces. So what I'm gonna do is put it into a piping bag and then from there we can pipe it into each of them, which will just make it easy to get it nice and neat and not on the edges of the bowl. So once that's full, just put it over your bowl so you don't get it all over the bench. Give it a shake to get rid of any air bubbles. And then just twist the top to stop your mixture coming back out of the top. Now what we want to do is just take each one, put it down low and just squeeze and go around in a circle until it's about that full, about three quarters full. 
Once you've filled them all, what you want to do next is give it a shake and a bang on the bench. And again, the reason we want to do that is because we want it nice and smooth on top. Place them all into a large baking dish and then carefully pour in some hot water only about halfway up the sides, being careful not to get any on the cheesecakes. Having it in a water bath just keeps it at a consistent temperature and makes it not go hotter than the temperature of the water. So the water obviously can't go over 100 degrees. So we'll put that in our oven and we'll leave them in there for about 15 minutes. And you need to keep an eye on them because we don't want them browned on top. We want them nice bright yellow. So melt some chocolate and put it into a piping bag. I'm using compound chocolate today so you don't have to worry about tempering it. And then just print out your template and I'll put this on the website in the size that I'm using for these desserts. If you're making your cheesecakes a different size then you may need to enlarge it or make it smaller. And then just put some non-stick baking paper over the top and then just outline the little patterns for the eyes and the mouth. The advantage of doing it onto some paper instead of directly onto the dessert is if you make a mistake, you can just make it again. So it doesn't matter, you haven't stuffed up your dessert. You could also just make heaps of these and serve these to the table and let your guests make their own emoji faces on their cheesecakes. So what you do once you've outlined it is you just give it a little shake like that and it gets rid of all those little lines and makes it smooth. For your coloured part of your emojis, you can either use coloured candy melts or you can use white chocolate and then just mix in some oil-based food colouring into it to make it the colours you want. With your heart emojis, outline them in your normal chocolate first and then fill them up with the red so you get that nice border on the outline. And then just like we did before, give them a little shake just to smooth out the top. Perfect. Once they're cooked, take them out of the oven and let them cool. So then just take the foil off, place it on top of something small and gently just push down on the sides and there you have your cheesecake. And then just transfer that onto your serving platter. So now our cheesecakes are baked and cooled. All we need to do is lift up these little pieces of chocolate and place them carefully on top. So we've got our little sad face going on top of this one. I like the happy ones better. Which one's your favourite emoji? I probably use the happy face more than anything else. There we go. These make such a cute dessert. And now you want to know how you can win one of the Breville Scraper Mixer Pros. As I said, we've got 12 to give away. Now what you need to do is you need to watch this video carefully and find this little blackboard. It appears four times in the video and each time it has a different word in it and you're going to need those four words. So to enter, what you have to do is number one, write down your country and number two, in 25 words or less, you can write whatever you like as long as it includes those four words. So it could be a song, it could be a poem, it could just be two sentences, whatever you want, as long as it includes the four words, it's 25 words or less, and you put your country at the start so we know where you're from. So go ahead and enter here on YouTube in the comments below or on the entry page on the howtocookthat.net website and I'll link to that in the description below. Have a great week and I'll see you on Friday.